We've seen how students' lives have become increasingly technologically oriented, how Web 2.0 has begun to offer significant new opportunities, um, access to uh, technology virtually everywhere, friendly, easy to use devices. We've heard from students, we've thought about these things, and we've heard some of their, their viewpoints. But of course, teaching has had to keep up with this as well. There's been a huge rise in educational technology, new apps becoming available all the time for students to use. The teaching workspace is becoming more and more complicated, more and more enriched by new forms of digital technology. But what do students think about this? What do students think about this new educational technology and the way that it's used? For students who've been using social media for as long as they can remember, the transition from living online to learning online comes naturally. But at the same time, these students have some particularly interesting points of view uh, about what this transition means to them and about what learning online in colleges and universities is about. Whether or not we're using learning analytics techniques, as colleges and universities, we're collecting information about students all the time. But how much do students know that we're collecting this information? And if they don't know, is it ethical? Ethics is a theme that's run throughout this course and obviously applies to all aspects of our practice. Here, though, we're particularly interested in students' views on the ethics of collecting information about them, information that they might not necessarily know that we're collecting. 